Beaufort, South Carolina is literally a sea of islands. And what better way to see it than by water? I'm going to take you on a tour of Beaufort by water. Hi, I'm Sue LaFavi with Ballinger Realty. And if you have any questions along the way, just call, text, or email me. Okay, so looking at the map, I want you to notice how much water surrounds the Beaufort area. I'm going to start our boat tour at the northern end, known as Ladies Island on the Coosa River. This is where my husband and I live, and we're going to jump on our boat and get started. As you can see, it's pretty rural along the coastline. Homes are fairly spread out with lots of woods in between, giving everyone privacy. And you'll also notice some of these docks are pretty dang long. That's because everybody wants to get out to deep water so they'll be able to launch their boat any time of the day or night, regardless of the tide. And we do have very large tide swings here, anywhere from about eight to 10 feet. And the tide shifts approximately every six hours, 20 minutes, and nine seconds, to be pretty exact. <laughs> As a result, we have some areas like this that is literally has their own beach at low tide. Now, we're coming up on the Lucy Creek Bridge. That big wooden building is privately owned and a great venue for birthday parties and weddings. The community boat launch is just on the other side. And we have boat launches throughout all of Beaufort. You, wherever you are, you're gonna be 10 minutes from a boat launch at max. As I mentioned, the tide level rises and falls dramatically here. So you'll notice most of the waterfront homes here have a floating dock with a movable ladder that goes up and down with the tides. Heading further up the waterway, we come to Dataw Island. It's a private gated community about six miles from downtown Beaufort. It's got this great marina we are approaching. You can just call in advance and a crew will meet you at the dock to help you tie up your boat and bonus parking is free. And this is one of my husband and I's favorite lunch spots. The restaurant here is called Morgan River Grill. Okay, now we're gonna switch gears and head to downtown Beaufort waterfront. You can see on the map, we will be heading south. The ride will take about 30 minutes. A few things you'll notice are the houses are, for the most part, closer together and the docks are on the shorter side. They don't have to go out as far to get to deep water. Oh, our son Michael is visiting, so he came along for the ride. And there's my husband, Bob. He always drives because I don't know how to operate the boat. But one day I'm gonna learn. And here's just more views cruising down the river. You know, we always see dolphin, but they are so hard to catch on video. You never know where or when they're gonna pop out of the water. Oh wow, this is a sight we don't see very often. A plane, very cool. I'm filming this on a gorgeous Sunday afternoon, and you would think there would be lots of boat traffic, but that's rarely the case here. Just a boat or two passing once in a while is about all we ever see. And I will say the Southern hospitality also exists on the waterways. Everyone always waves to passing boaters. Here's just one of the few marinas we're passing on the way. Now we're coming up on a very desirable community called Pigeon Point. It's just about a two mile drive or 15 minute walk to downtown Beaufort. Right there, you'll see they provide a community boat launch for the neighborhood. Getting even closer to downtown, 
is the Point neighborhood. And this is probably the most expensive real estate in Beaufort with the large antebellum mansions along the waterfront. Many of these homes were used as hospitals during the Civil War, and several famous movies have been, been filmed there, like The Big Chill. Okay, we're about to go under the swing bridge. I've never seen a bridge like this. It literally swings sideways to open versus lifting up, but pretty cool. Just on the other side is the downtown marina and waterfront park. We'll circle back here and hopefully find a place to dock to grab some lunch a little later. Cruising up the river, we're passing some stunning homes located on a very popular road, Rebo Road. Great location, centrally located to everything. And this big building, believe it or not, is Beaufort Memorial Hospital. They have some very expensive waterfront property that even has a dock in case there's any boating injuries. Now we've hit a little more traffic. These jet skiers look like they're having a blast. About five minutes down the waterway, we're coming up on the huge stationary bridge that takes you over to Ladies Island and some of the other sea islands. Some drivers will turn around if that swing bridge I showed you is closed for boat traffic and divert to this bridge to get on or off the islands. Right before the bridge is Port Royal Landing. It's a small community of very cute cottages and it also has a public marina. This is one of our go-tos for lunch. They welcome boaters and help you to dock. This one does have a docking fee, but it's only five bucks. Not bad. It's got a very good restaurant called Marker 244 that we often enjoy. So we're gonna turn around here and head back to the downtown waterfront for lunch. Oh, and one of the things that's very popular here is hanging out at the sandbars with family and friends. And as you can see, even the dogs have a great time. Okay, we're back at the downtown marina trying to find a place to dock. So this dock is a no-go. We're gonna try the second public dock on the other side. And it looks full as well. But wait, we are just seeing a boat taken off. We are docked and off to find a lunch venue. Oh, I wanted to show you this waterfront area. It's super nice with lots of green space, swings overlooking the water, and this area over here with all the umbrellas offers several different restaurants to choose from. Today, we decided on Panini's. Okay, lunch is done and we're heading home. That concludes my tour and I hope I was able to give you an experience of what our waterways have to offer. If you have any questions, please call, text, or email me. Thanks.